As you guys know, I'm literally back in the dating scene, sadly, and um, it's going terribly, as it always is, and I, I'm struggling. It's hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard out here for a tranny, masculine tranny, um, black, vegan. I don't want to say it's hard with veganism, but I can't say it does limit where I can go, you know what I mean, um, and, uh, short, oh my god, that is such a big one, being short is such a fucking big one, it's really pissing me off, and, um, what else is wrong, I think that's really it, like, I would say if anything, like, the asexuality thing is really, like, the biggest one, um, that's hindering me, but, I've been posting on Lex a lot, and I do get a lot of people that hit me up, but they're either wanting to just be friends because, it's burped, um, because they're only into, like, feminine people or women or whatever, I just got the burps today, or, um, they want to have sex with me, so it's either they want to be friends or they want to have sex, and I just am not down for that, so it's going pretty bad. But I thought it would, it would be kind of fun to list all of my... I even got a sticky note here. I'm going to write it down. All of my, what, like, my ideal partner. Because someone actually commented and they said, you should tell us what your ideal partner is. So maybe I'll just get this down and one of you guys can hit me up and be like, I meet all the all the standards and uh, let's date. And I'll be like, okay, cool. You move in and there we go. I'm booed up. So, let's see here. First things first, I would definitely say, I think this one is, some of these are shallow. Sorry. So, I'm just going to get off the bat. Um, you, you got to be shorter than me. Shorter. That is a really big one. You got to be shorter than me. And it really sucks because, like, who's shorter than 5'4"? Or even the same height, too. I would take someone the same height or maybe an inch taller than me, but ideally shorter. I just, that marriage was cool, but, like, being shorter, but, like, a whole five inches shorter just killed me. It was cool, but I just really want to experience, like, being the tall one, and that would be great. So, definitely, I would love if, if um, she's shorter. Definitely a girl. I want to say a girl. I want to say a girl or a woman. I want to be with a woman, but open i want to say i'm open to non-binary people and the door is cracked for a man that's feminine the door is cracked so let's just say feminine fem i'll just say fem because really i would love it to be a woman that's my number one choice number two is i'm okay with non-binary possibly and um yeah like i said the door is cracked for a feminine guy because i don't really want to be with a man but maybe they're feminine who knows? Who knows? Because I have seen some short feminine men on Tinder and I'm fucking with it. And actually, speaking of Tinder, my fucking trial just ended yesterday. But today they gave me another 50% off and I said, I'll take it. So I paid the $15 for uh, for Tinder again. Keep on paying for it. So shorter, fem. Um, this one is, is another one that is kind of like, it sounds bad, but it's just there's such a big reason behind it, which is... They don't gotta be rich. I always said this in like all my like dating videos. I said, you don't gotta be rich. You could be poor as shit. You could have one dollar in your account, but you need to be good with your money. So definitely like financial, financially stable. I feel like so many times I go on a date and it'll be going good. You know, I like them. They're shorter than me. They're feminine. But then they start talking about I, and there's, it's okay being in debt, but they start talking about their debt, and it's totally fine being in debt, you know, but they talk about it in a way where they don't care about it, and I, I do know it's normal to not care about being in debt, I know that, like, they're like, oh, it's a car, car debt isn't real debt, I feel like, I feel like I hear that all the time, car debt isn't real debt, it is debt, you're in debt, you owe the money, so... It's that, and I care so much about that. And it's okay if you have a payment plan, but like I said, it's just about how they talk about it. I feel like so many times they're like, yeah, I'm paying $400 for my car payment, and they have like a really beautiful car. And I'm just like, for what? For what? I just feel like people like that just want to show that they have money. They don't actually have money. And 
It's okay not to have money. Let's just have a piece of shit cars. I'm like, I bought my car $2,000 cash. So, you know, I want someone who's financially stable. Like someone who, like if I were to ask you, how much money do you make? How much money is all your bills every month? If they don't know that answer, I'm not, I'm not asking people I'm dating this question. I don't ask them that. But I'm just saying that's how much I want for them to be financially stable. So financially stable is a really, really big one on my list. So many people I know are terrible with their money or even not even just terrible just not good with their money they don't really care they don't have like long-term plans i need someone with a long-term plan and um yeah so financially stable and then this is another one that is kind of like a weird one where it could be two type of people one type of person where they have big goals and dreams i don't want to say dreams i don't care about dreams big goals the goals that they're actually accomplishing so someone who is a good at accomplishing goals so not a good accomplished goal. So let me scratch that. I want someone who is one of the two. Number one is someone who has a plan in life and they're going to achieve it and they're actively achieving it. Or someone who is not going with the flow, but someone who is okay with me making the plan. Me, me um, planning our life. You know, planning your life, planning my life. What I don't want, because that sounds like it's maybe all the options, but the third option, which most people, is they, they have no plan and they don't want to be told what to do. So I do get that. And I don't want to tell someone what to do. That sounds so wrong. Me saying I want to be with someone that I tell what to do or make a plan for. But that's just how it is. I don't want to be with someone who's like, oh, I don't really have a plan and I don't want you to make one for me. Because it's like, okay, then there ain't going to be nothing happening. Um, so that one sounds like kind of harsh, but... It is so important. So important. I don't even know. I'm just going to say goals. Um, and then, I mean, the way someone looks, I'm totally fine with anything. I know a lot of, like, black people say, I don't date white people. I don't know why, because that would be so racist if they, if they said that about black people. I don't, you know. So, I'm open to everything. Um, I am curious how it would be to date someone black. I never had before, but I'm down for black, white, Asian, Mexican, anything I didn't list, I'm down for everything and anything, like, truly, um, obviously, I have to be attracted to them, so, that's really, like, my main thing, um, you can be bald, you can be, you know, a girl with a beard, I don't fucking know, I don't care, um, yeah, I guess, of course, there's always, like, I'd love to look cute with someone, so, if they were, like, sterile, it's not, I don't know, I always trip on that, but, like, socially unattractive i'm okay with that i don't mind someone being socially unattractive or like just look like unattractive to most people i don't care truly i don't even care um but obviously preferred for them to be attractive to other people uh but i mean i can fall for anybody really of course another one would be um fucking independent just like all those normal things so i would say these are like the main ones you know that's not even focusing um but i would yeah i would definitely say like all that normal stuff independent a big one i've learned is take someone out where there's like customer service involved whether that's just like going to a goodwill and there's a cashier or whatever or like sitting down at the table because i've like dated people for a while and then we go out and they're like such assholes they're such assholes to the workers and i'm like this date is over. It's over. I would obviously love someone that is into art of some sort, some kind, at least cares about what I put out. I think that I don't really want to say anything mean or anything, but like my ex-wife, she never cared about my online stuff. She never cared about my videos. I would love for someone to care because it's not like just me like exposing my whole life and putting on the internet. If this is my art, you know, I know a lot of people will probably think it's easy to make these videos. Yeah, it's easy. I'm just talking to a camera. But this is like my art. I enjoy putting out myself and I would love to be with someone who's at least somewhat interested in it. You know, maybe watch it here and there. You don't have to watch them all, but, you know, watch my videos, you know, maybe like would enjoy making a rug with me. Obviously, physical stuff. I would love someone to work out with. I would literally pay for someone's gym membership if I was with someone and dating someone and they were interested in like I don't know weight loss or, or muscle gain or whatever I would love to work out with someone so I feel like I'm asking a lot and I know that 
but that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm sure I have a lot more, but in general, I would say, like, the stuff I wrote down is, like, the main ones, and I could get rid of some, like, you don't gotta be shorter than me, you don't gotta be, like, super feminine, I do like high femme, I would love someone, like, who wears makeup and stuff, but I also am totally out, down for someone who wears none and never have more makeup, but, um, the financially stable thing and the goal thing, that's probably the biggest, it's probably the biggest, and it's, it sucks because, like, the rarest one to find, um, hope I didn't sound like an asshole with all those, but yeah, that's it.